I'm about to show you a wondrous thing because that is the border of New South Wales and Victoria. And in spite of this state border, there's a train bridge crossing between these two states continuously with no need to stop and get out. Why is this wondrous? Because the colonies of Australia kind of functioned as separate countries until they federated in 1901. Culturally, the current states of Australia had a lot of time to develop their own unique identities and ways of operating. So, for example, the train gauges, which is to say the gap in space between the rails of the train tracks, were different in New South Wales over here and in Victoria over there. So when you took the train between Melbourne and Sydney, you would have to disembark and get on a different train because the trains were not compatible. They've since fixed this. You can take the XPT train from Sydney to Melbourne, and thank God they did, but cultural differences continue. For example, in Melbourne, you order a pot or a pint of beer, but over in Sydney, you'll order a schooner or a midi. In Melbourne, we watch football, Australian rules football. In Sydney, they're more into rugby over there. There are many, many more examples of this, and if you know any more, leave them in the comments below.